Hey guys, I am sick and tired of these generic batteries. For example, this guy, the moment I got it, it just went dead. I bought two total, one died immediately, and the other one, well, it wouldn't charge halfway through it. I don't know why. This is the original, well, so-called original battery that came with the Black Magic Pocket 4K. Um, honestly, it's still working just fine. I ended up getting the original Canon batteries. So far, it's good, but I only got it for a few days, so my fingers crossed. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, Black Magic Pocket 4K, this is what I've got recently. This is a Manfrotto. Ah, uh, okay. Be free. It's surprisingly light. As a matter of fact, I think it's actually, it feels lighter than a Joby. It comes with this, I believe this is a fluid ball. It's pretty tiny. It's smooth. It's strong enough to hold the camera itself, but, well, I'm using a pretty long lens. So, it, okay, it does shake a bit because, not because the lens is heavy, it's too long. Well, what do you expect? This is a, this is a pretty small ball. Ball. Well, we just got back from a morning. Couldn't be bothered to get changed. Yeah, pretty sloppy. Yeah, um... Oh, here you go. Well, the build quality is superb. Everything is smooth, accurate, and the best part is this water gate. It doesn't come off that easily. It stays here, unlike the previous one. And of course, if you wanna pick one up, make sure it's this brass color, this gold, flamboyant gold. And go with this really red leather strap. About the Manfrotto, well, no unboxing, guys. This is pretty much it. It's reversible. Well, first off, this is a carbon fiber. So, it's really light. It's pretty low, sort of. Well, because this is a traveler, so what you do, it's... The good thing about this, well, it's pretty long. So, it, it, it helps a lot when you're using um, a longer lens, for example. Seriously, I understand the fact that in the in the world of video making, the heavier the equipment, the better it is. Um, but the thing is, I'm not a professional. I'm a one-man band, so light 
it's really important for me to the extent that even the gimbal here even this guy if it's actually heavier yeah you see these guys are about more or less the same height um, but for the Manfrotto this guy it's so much easier to carry around because of well I'll show you see this is nice and compact compared to this Chiyun Crane 2 this guy is really bulky to carry around um, yeah unless there's a specific um, scene that I am I need to do I try to avoid this guy <laughs> even though it's smooth it's, it's got a lot of motion etc etc so at least so far right now this is the most practical this and the Joby so these two tripods are you know my favorite oh, I would say favorite I mean it's a, it's a tripod so I, would, I haven't been in the market for these camera accessories for like at least like five six years now so but however ever since I started picking up on video making you know I got all these I mean I still suck at it I don't really know how to use them at least efficiently downside of that Manfrotto it's it could be a lot shorter in height um, compared to, to the Joby when you sp completely spreads out it's literally setting well the camera it's only a few inches away from the ground that is useful the only problem is again the ball head that came with uh, the Joby it's just not strong enough especially when you're using these longer lenses it's not so much with the weight but it's a lot of physics so if people are getting more and more people are getting into video making I think camera strap sales will drop significantly because well straps they do get in the way <laughs>